Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. I wanted to get back to Dark Table and dig into a feature I think you're going to love called Filmic. It has some great potential for changing how we process photos and how we work on things and enhance our art experience. Let's get to it. All right. So, if this is your first time joining the channel, once again, this is Photo Learningism. It's my goal to build a community of learning and to surface out the cheap or the free tools that can enhance your artistic experience. I'm more of an, kind of an artistic uh, technology explorer, an art technology explorer, and uh, I consider my quest through this to really bring to light the tools that are powerful and can enhance your ability to produce. Um, also, I invite a lot of interaction, leave comments, subscribe, get involved, and let's help each other and let's grow. Having said that, getting back to Dark Table, I did cover this previously in a comparison with Raw Therapy, which is another fantastic tool. I'm going to focus tonight just on Dark Table because there's a really awesome feature I wanted to dig out called Filmic, uh, but I'll put a card in the that corner <laughs> so you can go look that up if you really want to check that out. So, Filmic. Quick uh, little background here. Really what it's going to do is it's going to help you adjust the spread of color into the primary colors, into the, the red, the green, and the blue. And um, it's a tool that really helps you drive that. What was the case in Dark Table leading up to this was your ability to kind of graphically drag across the spectrum, which in and of itself is pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, I've never seen another tool that operates like that where you have the real time histogram and you can manipulate it all in the same view. That alone was just cool. It is a little tough, having said that, to, to really figure out what's going to happen when you drag things uh, because you're kind of guessing spectrum and wavelength and, and that can get a little haphazard trial and error, but the idea of it's still really cool. And I'll give a demonstration how that works where you could literally say, okay, well, I want the spread of all color and you can choose whichever way of length you want, but I want the spread of all color not to end here, but I want that to be all through the visible spectrum here. And that changes the image. That's pretty wild. You can do some other manipulations where you can drag um, around. You could uh, manipulate again specific colors if I wanted to turn off these other ones and say okay well I just want so much blue to be there uh, you could do that as well flip them back all on and you can adjust the spectrum that way so really cool premise again I found a kind of trial and error to work that way but it's neat that you could at least see that and if you at least what immediately wanted to set the baseline of I want full spectrum of light and color you could do that very simply so that's the histogram and you can interact with that to complement that people are saying this is kind of a replacement but I see it as more of a complement to that is the filmic plugin and that's if you don't have it up on your workspace here you can get it from the mo more modules area it is there um, but once you have it enabled it drops into your workspace it does have the kind of curves appearance but that doesn't really let you interact with this the way you would think about curves. This you can't manipulate. Every, all of your controls, at least the way I'm seeing it, happen down here. Now, this is where I found most of the value is in this top area. The safety factor will play with both the white and black, and it'll balance those out with the spectrum of light that you are creating. And I mentioned you can manipulate that before you could see the image changing. You could see it toning them both out. If you want to go back and tweak that further on your own, you could do that to say, okay, well, I really want more white back in this picture, or I really want more black in this exposure. You can do that. And you can see that happening and updating in real time. And already this is actually looking pretty cool. <laughs> I'm accenting the thing I want. So that's the basic premise. The curves do change based on those adjustments. And this is how you can use this space. And this is the part that's like, wow, you can right click on here and they do have some preset uh, presets. They do have some uh, saved presets you can dig into and, and use. And they're a little extreme for some of them. You can try them out. 
what's cool though is that I've already made these adjustments to this image and what I can do is I can now store this and save it and let's just say I had a whole mess of pictures that have this same kind of framing or style where I'm handling a leaf um, the circumstances, the lighting, the conditions are going to be very similar, but I need to ratchet through a whole bunch. This might be like a portrait scenario where you're taking a whole bunch of pictures, similar lighting and framing and all that. Once I've arrived at what's likely going to be the baseline of adjustment for getting in the exposure and adjusting the spectrum of light, I now have this preset where I could go to other images and I could apply that in this tool. Okay, this picture, okay, it doesn't look the way I wanted it to. I've made some adjustments you can see, but I could load it in here, my leaves preset, and that's layering on top of other things, so it looks a little more extreme, but you get the idea. You can apply the same styling as your baseline to all the images that you need to go through, and then go back down here and make some adjustments if you need to, if it's not quite the same match, but it really can help you speed up working through a lot of images. Or you could use this to achieve a certain kind of toning or grading, and then again, reuse that, save your own presets and easily apply them across all these images that you're working on. So, wow, wow. <laughs> that could save a whole lot of time in creating a baseline for editing images. So go ahead and try that out. Again, the tool is Darktable. I'm currently using 2.6.2. There's probably a more recent version. I don't know how far back this Filmic plugin comes from, but it's at least in 2.6.2. So that at least is a measure of where you can look for it and begin. Give me some comments if you found some other uses that I haven't mentioned in the course of this discussion and video. Share the experience. And also, if you happen to find tools that accomplish similar things, let us know because while this is focused on dark table i really want us to make a powerful community of learning where we surface all the greatness all the good stuff that we can get our hands into and especially open source because those are free it's hard to complain with free it's hard to turn away free stuff um so join the discussion again subscribe that helps me out a lot give me a thumbs up if this was helpful and i wish you happy holidays i wish you a merry christmas as we come to the end of the year We'll continue to create more great content and more stuff as we jump into 2020. I look forward to seeing you there. I'm Nate. This is Photolearningism. Take care.